Hello, this is Scott Denstead, and here's the latest two-minute aviation weather video tip sponsored by AviationWeatherWorkshops.com. This week, a very strong area of high pressure moved into the northern high plains out of Canada. At 1200 UTC on February the 1st, the central pressure of the high was reported on the surface analysis chart as 1,054 millibars. While not a record high pressure, altimeter settings in the northern high plains were nearly 31.00, which is the highest setting capable in most altimeters. When the local altimeter exceeds 31.00, please reference the Code of Federal Regulations, Section 91.144. So what does a mean sea level pressure of 1,054 millibars equate to from an altimeter perspective? Well, if you were to go to the Google toolbar and type in 1,054 millibars in inches of mercury, you get approximately 31.13 inches as the answer. So does this mean the altimeter setting would be 31.13? Even though this conversion is technically correct, the altimeter would not be 31.13. Let's take a look at an actual example from Wolf Point in northeastern Montana. The surface observation for Wolf Point was reporting a sea level pressure of 1,054 millibars at 1353 UTC. According to the observation, the altimeter for Wolf Point is 30.87, not 31.13 as we calculated earlier. Could this be an error in the METAR? The altimeter setting is calculated by a pressure reduction computation in accordance with the standard atmosphere based solely on the actual station pressure and the station elevation, in this case, 1,987 feet for Wolf Point. Sea level pressure, on the other hand, is a theoretical pressure at the station if the station were actually at sea level, which it is not. The two computations are different in that the sea level pressure computation takes into account the reported station temperature. With a temperature of minus 36 degrees Celsius at Wolf Point, you'd expect a fairly significant difference between the altimeter and sea level pressure. 